when I first walked in the door was what is this place because I was out in the yard and it was a day where students had been in and out of houses and um, there were basketballs flying everywhere, people running all directions and I went wow, I have to find out more about this place. And um, as I went around the school I could, I could see right from the outset that there was a very high um, level of support for the students so that they could do a good job. In early years um, schooling, in primary schooling, that there's what they call scaffolding, where you prop the student up so that they can do the best job possible. You don't do the work for the student, but you do everything you can to help them achieve an outcome. And that usually tapers off towards the end of primary school, and in high school they kind of give them a little shove and let them go. But not at this school. At this school that continues right through. There's a very um, high level of support and we give every student every avenue we can because that's where the most effective learning happens. Our motto at Emerson is about unlocking the potential in all the students and you can't unlock potential if you don't give the students opportunity. So today is all about giving our students, but also the local students in our area, the opportunity to sing chorally. If you don't give them the opportunity to sing chorally, how are they going to know what that feels like? I know when I sing chorally, I'm listening to the person next to me, I'm listening to the person on that side, I'm listening to the overall effect, I'm watching the conductor, I'm listening to the accompanist, I'm listening to the acoustical effect, and I'm also really enjoying what I'm doing. So there's a huge multi-level aspect to singing in a choir and uh, it's all about making harmony. Harmony um, is, I guess it has a love aspect to it, you know, um, love creates harmony, harmony leads to beauty. There's all different ways you could look at, look at that but I think this is about children experiencing beauty, love and harmony together. When we first started singing the scales and the sound in the room was the highlight for me. I love singing the songs at the end of the day, but that first sound of everyone singing together was, was amazing. The other thing that I saw from the kids was the unity. Different schools, different kids, acceptance, and doing something great together, which they did. I think that's a great life lesson that you can take out and that they would take out in other experiences that, that they might have. We tend to stratify society with the people who are so-called high achievers and it, they get reminded all throughout that where you are stratified in from one to a hundred, you have a standardised school or whatnot and it doesn't work that way because the most brilliant person around might be the person in the bottom 20% who was there setting a great example, and that's what people can be so oblivious to. So if school is anything, school, school is about preparing the next generation for a, an, an ever-evolving level of consciousness, of knowledge, and whereby the aspects of greed, the aspects of hunger, poverty, envy, if any of these four things, greed, hunger, poverty, envy. They tend to dominate our newspapers and they're sensationalised, but we has to start in every group, you know. We, we tend to live in small cultures, eco-cultures, countries, whatnot. But if we, at this moment of time, can show a universal truth, then um, we will be teaching children to know who they are. They say music is the gateway between heaven and earth and um, music is transformative. Um, music, when people come together, you, your soul's illuminated and whether you know you have one or not, when people start singing um, and there's all sorts of you know, there can be clinical research, which is very um, assertive, positive research, to show the benefits of, 
of music and sometimes we have to sort of use neuroscience to show that there are, you know, there are benefits that can be measured um, in a scientific way. But holistically, uh, music moves people, it motivates people, it bonds um, people from so many aspects that people naturally respond. And so what's lovely is having those interactions with people who um, you, may, you may not have spoken to and all of a sudden they just, they are much more responsive because everything's come to life. Um, so I think music, uh, it's, it's been my saviour. It, it, I'm happiest, I'm sort of most alive when I'm making music with other people or, or facilitating that. I see some of my success stories in, in people who, young men in particular, who came to school and had uh, quite severe autism. Um, high functioning autism, like quite clever, good memory, good math skills, good guitar playing. And um, I would have students who arrived in a room together and would not say a word. I had students who were very lacking in social skills. I once called a band practice and had five guys sit in the room for a full 10 minutes without saying anything to each other. And I eventually said, guys, are you going to talk? And they, they now, some of them are still here, um, they began to come together and play their instruments and start bouncing ideas off each other and um, starting a social interaction. Uh, that's, a, that's a big thing, like social cues for people who are, uh, are lacking in confidence or who are a bit wary of sounding silly, for someone to initiate a conversation and, and get the ball rolling with someone else is really big. And it's really important to show confidence. To be, to be successful in anything, you have to be able to back yourself. And sometimes people only give you a chance if you can show, I'm willing to take a risk and I'm willing to be confident. You know, I'll stand up straight and I'll stick my hand out and say hello to you and, you know, share myself with you. And I think that's something that is really important that you can learn by being part of a group, a music group. As a teacher, when I'm teaching, I am always energised and inspired and in the moment and that's not something I can always do in my everyday life um, and it's that connection that you have with the students and I think our students in particular um, have a particular way of connecting with people um, and a particular way of teaching you. I remember one person who left here a few years ago who had substantial autism, quite substantial, and it totally dominated his life. And as he walked out the door for the last time, he shook my hand and he said, you've been my friend, you understood me, we will always be friends forever. And as he walked off with his parents, I stood still because I was beginning to know how to know what had just happened. And that's what I wish for every teacher and every student because we're all students. And today, music has taken us into a new place um, um, with shining eyes, with a common endeavour, and we became one. And so we set an example for everyone. And um, the world will be a, have a more will be codified in a simpler way, and that's what it's all about. John Mooney uh, is quite the visionary. Um, you know that when he's looking into your look, talking to you about your department and 
we're talking about all these exciting things that are happening and that what, what we can do and he's listening to us and and we're all excited you know that he's also having these same conversations in other areas of the school um, so that it's all part of the whole machinery that goes to to making everybody's programs grow and blossom but also reflect off each other and intertwine with each other, intertwine with each other and, and support one another as well. We are one, we are many. We love what we do and do what we love. And it's all about through three main songs and others, we celebrate and then we go home. And you know what? Good things never finish. So it won't be finished today. There was a famous sculptor called Rodin who said, when I die, and he said this in his 80s before he did die, and my, my, my best masterpiece is not finished, I know I will have succeeded. Because life is about the now and doing the now. And so this, this, this happening today will never finish. Mm -hmm.